Greetings, I'm the Chappers and this is my friend Captain Lee and we're at Anderton's. We certainly are. And Christmas is looming yes. on the horizon. Santa's sack is full. He's of... got just enough space though in his sack to squeeze a little pedal in for you. So we're going to try and help you decide here um, what, um, what little Christmas gift What you can gift tell you... your wife or mum to put in your stocking for Christmas. So, what I've done, we've got six drive pedals here. Got two and, oh, and, a and a bonus, little bonus, bonus thing. secret cool Watch thing. Watch to the end, you've got to see this thing. Uh, six drive pedals, two of them are about 50 quid each, two of them are just under 100 quid each, and uh, two of them are a little bit more for the, for the man who has it all and the wife with a, uh, who's going <laughs> to spend plenty on him. Um, and this is it. So, first and foremost, the Boss DS1. You've probably, uh, this is probably the... Uh, uh, one of the biggest selling boss pedals of all time. It's orange, as used by famous people like Satch. So this little orange bad boy here is, uh, it's only 42 pounds. Um, so what's that, same price of like a PlayStation game, and I'm sure you get a lot more of joy over the years out of one of these than you will one of those. So here is uh, this beautiful ML1 um, through the Cornford Carrera, and no distortion pedal, just to give you an idea of the tone. <laughs> £42, it is. isn't really it? Good. So we really like that one. But for the same sort of money, you could have, if you wanted, a slice of Big Muff. <laughs> yeah! Which um, has been around for a long time, the Big Muff. I think people like Hendrix used to play it. Uh, it's a fuzz pedal rather than a drive pedal, so it's a different type of tone to the, uh, the DS1. Um, and let's be honest with you, who wouldn't want a big muff in their stocking when they I've got a double muff. Have you got a double I went muff? double on it, yeah. Cool. So uh, anyway, if you can um, bring yourself to uh, write to Father Christmas or to your mum saying, Dear Santa, I would like some big muff for Christmas, then um, this could be the pedal for you. £49. It's the only big muff you can get for £49. <laughs> couple of little choices for you to make there if you've got uh, up to 50 pounds for your Christmas present. What happens present? if you put it all in? It just goes mental. <laughs> Does it go mental? I just want to know what it's like. <laughs> Item of beauty, is it going to be the? Oh, it's going to be the power stack. So I'm excited about the power stack. This is new from uh, Boss this Christmas or this year. Sorry, oh no, it probably is this Christmas. It's only been out a month or so. Um, this uh, you're going to have to have a slightly higher budget if you want this. This is eighty nine pounds. Um, is it eighty nine ninety nine? Eighty nine ninety nine ninety nine. Uh, it has essentially. As well as being a drive pedal, it also has kind of amp emulation as well. So um, from like super old-fashioned plexis 
through to new metal, mm. modern, killing your ears things. And they claim very much, and perhaps Chappers will demonstrate this, that, that it responds uh, to the sort of volume changes on your guitar, just like an, a Hamptifier would. <laughs> Hamptifier. Uh, so we'll start with it in its middle mode, the drive mode, and I'll fiddle uh, whilst Chappers is playing. <laughs> Crunch rather okay. than drive, so here we use crunch. Shall I ultra you? Ultra it, baby. Here we go. if you need one pedal to try and do sort of you know two or three different genres of yeah. rock music. Could we scoop some of the top end off? Of course. Add a bit more low end. Or like that. That's good. <laughs> similar price tag oh really you could have uh, yeah. the Digitech Hardwire SC2 valve distortion it's a bit, um, it's a bit misleading, misleading saying that, isn't it? valve there's no valve in it it's pretending to be a valve pedal uh, but it's very good and what do we like about for those of you who are into your kind of tone and boutiqueness uh, the Hardwire is a true bypass pedal that means that when I switch it off uh, the input and the output are hardwired together so it doesn't go through the circuit board yeah. of the pedal. Uh, those of you who are really into your tone will know that if it are pedals that aren't true bypass will often find that even with the pedal turned off your guitar doesn't sound quite as yeah. full as when uh, you're not using the pedal. This pedal is £82. £82.99? Uh, and uh, has much the same set of cables. <laughs> As the uh, ST2, but yeah, it does cool. have a little switch to switch from crunch to saturated. Can you hear my stomach rumbling? That was there? pretty impressive, mate. You were quite Shit. hungry. Right. Here is the, uh, the clean sound. Excited at all. <laughs> I can't believe we've been working together for nearly a year. That's the first time you've pulled out the edge. <laughs> to be honest, I'm making it up as I go along. It's bloody good, I tell you. I love it when a plane comes together. Oh. Right, that was its crunch mode. <laughs> Let's try it in its saturated mode. <laughs> Give it all the gain, 
buddy. Back yeah. off a little bit of that high end there. You know, though, I, for me, you loving, like it, no, I, I, I prefer this pedal to the, uh, the oh, Boss Oh, this one. is nice. Yeah. Really good. I think good. the Boss one, maybe for out and out metal, maybe I would prefer the Boss one, but for my kind of, uh, my tones, uh, uh, I prefer this one at the moment. So just to clean out, just a reference. Yeah. as well as the no. boss power stack but it does do authentic tube driven amplifier you, on the saturated well. setting with a good uh, valve amp that's just a little bit broken up you can get some nice shred tones from yeah. this like that cool so there you go so you got 80 or 90 pounds to spend for christmas ask father christmas to get you one of these um and father christmas has a special hotline straight through to the anderson's web store so yes. tell father christmas to click here and uh you can buy anything you like uh if you have a little bit more money yeah. Because you're better off, your mother <laughs> likes you more, or your wife still likes you, then you could try something else a bit like this. This is special. This is very special. Um, a few years ago, uh, a few years ago, I discovered, uh, well, I didn't personally discover them, but obviously I first came across uh, a brand of pedal called Full Tone. Uh, Full Tone have made uh, some of my favourite, favourite drive tones of all time, things like the... Um, the full drive and the OCD and the fat boost, all of which are fabulous, fabulous sounding drive pedals. Uh, anyway, this is his latest creation. This is the lovingly named Plimsoll. Um, slightly different looking to the Plimsolls that you and I used to wear to PE back in the day. Was it called PE then? <laughs> Let me try it. Here. It was PE when I was... <laughs> Definitely not the same Plimsoll uh, that I used to have. Right, yeah. anyway. We've milked that gag. <laughs> <laughs> so Plimsoll, this is another true bypass pedal, handmade using only the finest components in California by a guy called Mike Fuller, a total tonal genius. Uh, this has two stages of gain. Uh, the first one called sustain, the second one called uh, stage two. We've got a tone control and a level control. And again, this is just a fabulous sounding distortion. So let's go for our cleanish tone. <laughs> funky looking purple. It does look cool but there is a pedal that looks cooler. There is a pedal that but looks cooler. But before we look at the one that looks a bit cooler, I want all of the sustain. Just gun it, yeah. yeah. You're getting what you pay for there. <laughs> This is £179, uh, a little bit more expensive than the other pedals we've tried at, but you will own and love this pedal It's really forever. good. Yeah, it's really seriously good. Anyway, there's one more pedal. And then there's a secret special thing. This, this is so bloody cool. They don't even write the name of it on the pedal. Yeah. I've got, honestly, Rob will shoot some close-ups of these, but pay special attention to these. These, every single one of these are completely unique because they're all individually painted uh, using sort of different mixes of paints. So they all come out different colors and swirly patterns. Yeah, they're swirled like the uh, Ibanez gems were. Yeah, so no two will ever be the same. Now anyway, this is called a rock box boiling point. 
Um, a very, very well respected kind of pedal guru guy out in America voted this one last year as the ultimate drive pedal of all time. Um, essentially, it has a, a volume, gain and tone control on it. It has three modes of drive to emulate different types of distortion pedal. That's on this side here. And it has a bass boost, which they say if you're using a guitar with single coil pickups on, often helps add in that sort of extra oomph. There's a lot of oomph. There it does a have a lot of, of bass. Um, so we'll just take a sort of a, a sort of a middle of the road kind of drive sound at the moment with the um, bass boost on. So here is the reference tone. <laughs> And here's the rock box boiling point. Show him the special little pouch it comes with. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, this is what and you get. It's ironically Christmas coloured. Yeah. Well, this one is. Well, the one the you get. Pouch. Mine, is oh, Christmas I see. Yeah. It's very all signed by uh, Chris Campbell, the guy that makes. Carl off Bought Warriors. No. Look at this. Look. How many pedals can you say nowadays that you get? Come in a Santa sack. A little Santa sack. Yeah. A little sort of gold in the middle. Oh, it's reversible. Look. You see. It's. It's. You can have it this way round. That would hang on a Christmas tree so nicely. It so would, wouldn't it? Look, it, it's made for it. it. Just fits in there. Just can you get, go to sleep now? Go to sleep, sleep now. <laughs> bye bye. <laughs> <laughs> so, anyway, this pedal here is. Um, this is about. You know, this is. I wouldn't say this is about as expensive as drive pedals get, but it's certainly up there. Yeah. Uh, this one is. Two two nine. Did you hear that? This one is £229. Again, you're going to own and love this forever. Um, it's going to be amazing. The three modes on here, on this uh, dip switch over here, um, are basically, uh, there are two modes of, of drive, asymmetrical and symmetrical. Uh, I don't really know what that means, but it basically <laughs> essentially gives you a sort of, one of the, the modes is like a darker, more plexi sort of sounding drive. Uh, and the other mode is a more natural, open, sort of tubey kind of uh, drive. And then the middle one is just designed to be a clean boost. So you don't have to use this as a drive pedal. You can, you can literally just boost the, yeah. the, the drive channel on your amplifier if you want. Um, and it's got everything from, from real laid back, kind of nice, just boosting a bit kind of bluesy sounds through to you know, brutal. pretty brutal. Yeah. Uh, let's Not do metal, your... brutal rock. Yeah, I think if you want to go metal and you just want a scooped out kind of not necessarily you're going for the ultimate tone you just, metal zone you just want me well all the, that power stack or the metal zone they all do that kind what of about thing. the uh, metal muff metal muff is another that's an electro harmonics there's there are several variants of the big muff and the metal yeah, yeah. Muff. i actually don't No, i would go metal zone or power stack really? um it's just one of those kind of it's a tone in a box you can put it in front yeah. of any amplifier and that's what you get but anyway do you want to hear a couple more sounds? Yes. Here? So we try. Yeah, all, we're using. That's right. All we're really doing at the moment in this mode is, is just driving the amp a bit harder. So. Flick it down then, my friend. So now we're going mental.
of maxed it out at the end there just I didn't pick any of that, that was all just happened. Yeah. <laughs> I'm, if that's a toughie, do you know what? Can't decide. I think... I prefer that. Did you really? I prefer the sound of that, but the look of that. Yeah, I must admit, I kind of, I think the plimsoll for someone who's just looking for maybe one good drive sound uh, is awesome. Someone that I think could do something yeah. where there's, a, there's two or three different types of pedal in one. Uh, and of course it looks fabulous than the Rockbox, but <laughs> yeah. they're both... Honestly, if it's if you can have a if you've got someone that loves you a lot this Christmas, then one of these pedals would be Love awesome. Love you long time, Lee. You know what time it is? It's hammer time. Oh 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 oh! <laughs> it's not hammer time, is it? No, it's time okay, for the sorry. secret special special secret thing. Fairly new, very new. Say bye bye. Bye. bye, -bye. Okay. Check this out. Check this bad boy out. Check this bad boy out. <laughs> What is that supposed that. to be? I don't know. <laughs> it's a little box amplifier. It's a lunchbox packed for the tone. Um, what is it? We've kind of seen similar things to this before with the little Marshall MS2 sort of battery powered thing. It's, it's sort of a similar idea. Um, but a lot better, to be fair. It is a lot better. They, yeah. they I, When I first saw this, I, I read the spec and it's basically, it's a little battery powered guitar amplifier um, and it's got some backing tracks built into it. And I thought, you know, that's cool. Um, but it probably sucks sound wise, so you know, whatever. Um, and then they arrived, and we plugged it in about half an hour ago, and we kind of went, That sounds amazing. Yeah, it does, yeah. Um, or amazing for what it is, anyway. Uh, so, could we me... bring up the mic to it? Oh. We put it, if we put it on the, on the chair, could we put that mic next oh, to it? Oh, I see what you mean. Actually, yeah. record it prop. Yeah, that's what well, we need to really. We probably should. Oh. Yeah. So, uh, we've, we've managed, Andrew's very kindly mic'd it up for us, <laughs> so you can, you can check this out, because it's a serious piece of kit now. The mic and the stand that we're using cost three times more than this. Yes. So, uh, <laughs> anyway, look, Vox AC1 Rhythm Vox. It's £49, so you've got to get this on your Christmas list. This I'm going to get one. Every guitar player needs one of these for their Christmas. <sighs> Runs on batteries or on mains. Basically got, um, it's, a, it's a funky sounding little guitar amplifier. So let's just do the guitar sounds first. So, so here is clean. clean. So if I just crank this a bit here. Not bad, is for it? For 50 quid, that's a hell of a drive sound. So for 50 quid, you're already thinking, yeah, I might get one of those, but here's the clincher. We've got, <laughs> we've got like a dozen or more back into, actually, no, we've got more than that. We've got a tuner built in. So forget all your separate tuner, you can just do it from here now. But we've got backing tracks built in. Now, not only have I got about a dozen backing tracks, I can also control the tempo and the volume level of the backing track. So I can play to fast metal, slow blues, Whatever you Give me want. a fast metal backing track right now. <laughs>
the best fun ever. <laughs> we could go on all day with this. 50 quid. I don't know how it's going to come across to the SM, um, but it sounds really good. The saturated gain is saturated. Um, small box of joy is boxy of joy. And did I tell you, you could plug an iPod in, plug your guitar in, <coughs> runs on batteries, and it's so small that I think we're shipping this out in the UK for something crazy, like four or five quid or something like that. So uh, check it out. Get to the Anderton's website now. Order it quickly so you get it in time for Christmas. Before they run uh, out. Yeah, Vox AC1, Rhythm Vox. The surprise of the day. Surprise de la jour. De la jour. Which is Au French revoir. for boy. <laughs>